Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. Destiny Group Managing Director Rofi Gulamin has been sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for embezzlement and smuggling. At the same time, the group's chairman, former Army Chief Harunur Rashid, was sentenced to four years in prison. Judge Sheikh Nazmul Alam of Dhaka's fourth special judge's court pronounced the verdict on Thursday. Earlier on Sunday, the judge fixed May 12th for the verdict after presenting the arguments of the state and the accused. Destiny MD Rofi Gulamin and 47 others are accused in the the case of these 39 accused are fugitives. Sri Lanka's former Prime Minister Ranil Wickram Singh, who was just one seat in the 225 member parliament, could become the next premier amidst the worst economic crisis in the debt ridden island nation. The 73 year old United National Party UNP leader held talks with President Gotabaya Rajapaksha on Wednesday in this regard. Wickram Singh, who has served as the country's Prime Minister four times, was fired in October 2018 from the post of Prime Minister by then President Maitrapila Tsu. However, he was reinstalled as the Prime Minister by Sri Sirisena after two months. BNP wants to move forward in the future with former Prime Minister Khaled Zia ahead. Some leaders of the party say although she could not participate in politics for being convicted, Begum Zia is their inspiration. Despite being released, the top BNP leader has no chance to participate in the next national elections as per the law. A policymaker of the party says that they will get Khaled Zia back in politics only if some changes are made in the conditions of bail. On March 25, 2020, Khaled Zia was released released from prison for the first time on condition of anonym anonymity with executive order of the government. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhali Samalam Gir said there would be no election under this government, adding that Khaled Zia would be released and elections should be held under a neutral government. He said this while inaugurating a bicycle rally organized by Lal Munirhat District, BNP, on the 50th anniversary of independence. He said the country has lost democracy during the tenure of this government. The BNP Secretary General also remarked that bringing back the lost democracy is now the main task. Mirza Fokul complained that this government has disappeared more than 600 BNP leaders and activists. BNP Organizing Secretary Asadul Habib Dulu presided over the function. Besides, leaders of district BNP and its affiliates were also present. Despite being released on bail, former Jubo League leader Ismail Chaudhary Shamrat will have to stay in hospital till next Monday. On that day, the Medical Board of Specialist Doctors will review his health condition and take the next decision. His doctor said this at a press conference at Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Rahman Medical University on Thursday. Doctors say Shamrat's heart condition is bad, but his condition is stable at the moment, but would worsen at any time. Doctors said his family would decide whether to take him abroad for better treatment. Hajj Agencies Association of Bangladesh, HAB, has announced a package for Hajj pilgrims under private management at a cost of 4,63,744 taka, excluding sacrifice. The president of the association, Shahjad Hussein Taslim, said that if Saudi Arabia raises any other fee, it will also be included in the package. The HUB Hajj package was announced at a press conference at a hotel in the capital on Thursday. Compared to last year, the airfare has been increased by 2,000 taka this year. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.